Hi, and welcome to Chapter 14 on Medication Information. The nice part about this chapter is it's not very lengthy because you are going to have a pharmacology course that you'll be taking later in the program. What we need to be aware of with Chapter 14 is just basically a few drugs that are pretty essential for the radiographer to know. So there should be some names that you recognize if your patient were to talk about them in the department. So knowledge of these medications, they kind of help to facilitate the task when you're assisting the physician. And if there is a reaction that your patient has to a medication, then you're able to identify what's going on. So it more alerts the radiographer so that you prevent any errors from happening when doing your procedures. So one of the things that we need to be aware of is just what to observe if the onset of a medication response is, um, has a serious side effect in our department. So with that being said, our role is just to have a comprehensive knowledge of pharmacology that's not essential for imaging professionals, but to understand those common drugs and their uses. So with this, there's drug medications that have some interchangeable terms, so you should be familiar with the generic names. Uh, there are some trade names that are given by the drug manufacturer that you need to be aware of. The physician's desk reference is a PDR, which is a great resource if you're not sure what the medication is. And there is a course, again, that you will be taking, clinical pharmacology, that will help with identifying what those medications are. So, some of the medication properties that we need to be aware of. We need to know, is it a pharmacokinetics, which is the study of the way the body processes a drug. So this includes how your drugs are absorbed, how they reach their site of action, metabolize, and how they're eliminated from the body. And this can vary from the patient's age, um, their sex, their weight, their immune status, we also need to be aware of pharmodynamics, which is the study of effects of drugs on normal psychology functions of the body. So if it's a drug that um, promotes a desired result, or is there a um, receptor that prevents something from acting upon it? So for us, medication effects, again, we should be familiar with especially the allergic response to those drugs. So are we gonna have hives, asthma attack, um, in more severity, they could have cardiac arrest. So those types of things we're concerned with. So there's some frequently used medications in the department that we're gonna talk about and what type of reactions. Um, so an antihistamine, more commonly known as Benadryl, is something that we could use in imaging. And we have anephrin, which is used for several reactions. And then we have um, antromicrobials, which is betadine, that's an antibiotic. Um, we may hear a person say that they're on Valium or diazepine, which is to help control seizures. And then you have some people who have heart conditions. So you have cardiac arrhythmias, um, analgesiacs, which is to relieve pain without causing loss of consciousness. And they can be um, even over-the-counter medications, such as ibuprofen or aspirin that the patient is taking. There's sedatives or tranquilizers. So if, again, if they're talking about diazepine, it's Valium. Um, Ativan is another one that you may hear them talking about, which often helps to induce sleep. So they help them to relax, get rid of anxiety so that they um, can get a re more restful sleep. Antagonist is the counter effect of drugs such as sedatives or analgesiacs. So sometimes Narcan, um, you're probably familiar with that. So it counter effects if somebody has a drug overdose. Local anesthetics, we do use lidocaine in certain procedures. We're gonna numb up the area before we do an injection. And then we get to things like um, hypoglycemic agents we need to be familiar with because we do have diabetic patients. So if they're talking about they are taking some form of treatment for insulin, if they are talking about um, that they're taking medications to help with their um, diabetes, then you need to be aware if there's a reaction, maybe they have slurred speech, um, so they're maybe hypoglycemic and they're having a reaction on your x-ray table and it's something that you need to counter 
counter effect, that lack of taking that drug. Antihypertensives are more um, beta blockers, so they help to reduce any blood pressure. Um, general precautions, what we need to be aware of with this is any drugs that may cause an allergic reaction. So you do need to know where your emergency crash card is in your department in case you do have a code. So when you're looking through this chapter, there's a lot of, um, a lot of, lot of information. And I really want you to focus on what I've given you with that worksheet. So don't look too in-depth into this chapter. Just be familiar with some common names of drugs. So like Benadryl is something that's pretty common. You should be able to recognize that term. And that's what I'm looking for more at this point. And you'll get into it further in that next chapter. All right, thank you and have a great week.